Hi, my name is Alex Valdivia. Last year doing Fiat was the first time that I had ever done a spiritual challenge like Fiat and I was going through RCIA at the time. It was definitely a challenging experience but I think that I grew a lot from it. There's a lot of good things that came out of my Fiat experience like my friendships. I came with up with some great friends and going through those struggles, having someone to talk to makes a really big difference in your experience. Another great thing for me was really learning the kind of time that I have in my life without all the dis distractions. You have a lot of ability to focus on the things that you want to do. So now when I feel really busy, I tend to think of how I'm really spending my time and how I might improve upon that. So I've stopped saying that I just don't have enough time. And third, it was my first real encounter with the gospel. So having that daily reading was a great learning experience for me to really become comfortable with the Bible being the living word because as I read it every day I started to see how it really applies to my life and how God is speaking to us personally. So I hope that you'll join us on this really great challenge and stick around for a friendship. Hello, my name is Lorenzo Resendez. I've done the Exodus 90 for the past couple of years now and I think one of the things I love about it is that it is a challenge. Every time that I've done it these past couple of years, it's challenged me in different ways. Because of that, it's also caused me to leave it uh, with different lessons that I've learned as well. And when you sit down and think about the Exodus and you think about uh, the sacrifices and the food and the prayer, it's intimidating at first, and it was for us as well. But when you walk out of it, having done all you can in it, and knowing that you've been pushed to lengths that you didn't think were possible, it's an incredible feeling. And for me, it taught me how easy it can be to lose sight of God in the mix of everything, but also how easy it is to put him back into it, to be able to take something that's ordinary and to give it to God and to, to let it glorify him. You know, whether it's the simple actions of the showers or you know, making a sacrifice for one meal, to be able to take time every day to make a sacrifice for God was something I didn't think was possible uh, or was an extreme version of Catholic faith before I did the Exodus 90. And I think it's it's been awesome and it's changed me a lot in my life, for, in my faith, and in as a husband and father now. To be able to recognize that the little things that I can do have such a huge impact. It makes me want to keep pushing further and further to find what's that next little thing that I can do and how can I make that glorify God. Hello everyone, my name is Catherine and I participated in Fiat 90 last year. My husband has done Exodus 90 a couple times. The last year, kind of spur of the moment last minute, a group of us decided to do Fiat 90. Um, as our husbands participated in Exodus 90, we did Fiat 90 alongside them. And it was a beautiful experience of prayer and hard suffering, but it makes it that much more fruitful when you get to the joy of Easter at the end. It was definitely a time that we grew, all grew spiritually. Uh, and especially for my husband and I to grow together as we undertook these challenges and these prayer opportunities in our family, in our marriage, and in our own spiritual lives. So uh, pray and consider and discern doing Fiat 90 this year. If it sounds like something you might be interested in, uh, but there, there's a tug on your heart, but the human part of you might struggle with the, the challenging parts of it, um, that's the Holy Spirit and listen to that. It is challenging, but it's uh, wonderful and to have a community to walk with you to do it. There's so many other hard things and things going on in the world, but really this this challenge helps uh, looking to the joy of Easter and that the joy of Easter is that much more joyful after walking through a period like this. So I uh, hope to join you this year.